Keeping a personal headache diary is one of the best tools you can use when living with headache. Use a small notepad, calendar, or book to carry in your purse or pocket, or use a notes app on your phone or migraine app that is easily downloadable. A headache diary sheet is also available from headaches.org. You can use it as much or as little as you choose, but the more information you gather, the more options you'll have when it comes to discussing the treatment with your healthcare provider. Whenever you feel the onset of a headache, start by jotting down the time of day and assign a pain level from when you first notice it on a scale from one to 10, with 10 as the worst pain you've ever had. What did you do to help the pain get better? What made it worse? Write down the time and a new pain level when you noticed a change. Even this much info is a great start, allowing you and your healthcare provider to notice patterns that might influence a decision regarding a new pain medication or lifestyle adjustment. Another easy thing to keep track of is the location of your head pain. Is it mostly on the left or right side? Does the pain extend into your neck? Is the pain throbbing, burning, sharp, or a dull ache? Does it sometimes feel as if your skin or hair hurts for no good reason? Specifics can help your provider zero in on the type of headache you're experiencing, and whether it's part of a regular headache pattern or potentially another headache type that might respond to a different treatment. Other factors might also be helpful. For people who menstruate, keep track of those as your period starts. Make note of the weather, stress, or any illness you might have. Where were you when the headache attack hit? All worth writing down. Finally, make a note of your food and beverage intake before the start of the attack. What foods did you eat? Did you drink caffeine or alcohol, and if so, how much? Diet can have a big impact on headache attacks, so knowing what you consumed and how soon your headache started can give you and your healthcare provider a lot of great information to work with. And don't feel like you have to record everything, every time right out of the gate. Start simply with one or two of the items mentioned. Over time, you can add more details and may want to when you see how helpful a headache diary can be for managing pain and keeping track of the number of days lost to headache. Once you've settled on a treatment plan, you might want to add in times and dosages when taking medications. This can help your clinician or headache specialist make adjustments or consider new options as you determine the best treatment for you. The bottom line is that a better understanding of your own headache patterns will lead to better treatment and a better quality of life for you. So give a headache diary a try. You might find it to be one of your best tools for successfully living with headache. You can find a downloadable headache diary at the National Headache Foundation website, headaches.org.